Good morning. You are watching St Paul Stories and I am Tripana Chatterjee. The postgraduate department of journalism and mass communication conducted a one day session on fashion and product photography for the students of journalism and mass communication. The postgraduate journalism students were given a hands on experience in handling camera product and model shoot. department organized a one day workshop on third wave therapy for the undergraduate and postgraduate psychology students the students were given a wonderful session by popular psychologist and corporate trainer mrs swanalata ayer college added a new feather in its cap the center for physical education inaugurated the newly built cricket net facility the net practice facility aims to provide another best sporting activity for the students of the college year show and aviation expo aero india 2023 is scheduled for february 13 to 17 at yalanka air force station in bangalore the 14th biennial edition of aero india international seminar is on the theme aerospace defense technologies way forward Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated the 14th Aero India show on February 13. Flight operations at Bengaluru Kempegowda International Airport were partially suspended for 10 days from February 8 ahead of the 14th edition of Aero India 2023. Reserve Bank of India's Monetary Policy Committee on Wednesday hiked the repo rate by 25 basis points to 6.5 percent. ISRO successfully launched the second edition of the SSLV D2 from the first launch of Satish Dhawan Space Center at Sri Hari Kota, Andhra Pradesh. 14th edition of the prestigious Bangalore International Film Festival 2023 is scheduled to be held from March 23 to March 30. This year there will be screening of 300 movies of different languages from 50 to 55 countries across the world. Legendary athlete PT Usha presided over the proceedings of the Rajya Sabha on Thursday. PT Usha presided over the upper house of the parliament in the absence of chairman and vice president Jagdeep Dhankar. South African President Cyril Ramaphosa on Thursday declared a national state of disaster over his country's crippling power shortages. The government scrambles to remove obstacles to investing in energy supply outside the broken ISCOM power monopoly. The High Court of Karnataka dismissed the PIL against the construction and other activities around the 112 foot tall Adi Yogi Shiva statue erected by Isha Yoga Center at Chikbalapur district. The central government cleared the appointment of Justice Rajesh Bindal and Justice Arvind Kumar as judges of the Supreme Court. Thank you for watching. Super 20 is a weekly roundup for the Department of Journalism and Mass Communication. Follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Until we meet again in the next week. This is Tripana Chatterjee from Second MA Journalism and Mass Communication, Saint Paul's College.
Thank you.